Hello YouTube and welcome to this 7th 3DS Max tutorial. So um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you another tip. So here we go. Um, so for when you're modeling house and stuff there are many 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 ways to do it. But imagine we're not modeling a house. In fact yeah we'll stick with a house slash a cave dungeon kind of thing. So what you do is you get your box, you model the first wall, then what you could either extrude it or you can multiply copy it so we'll like go to grids we'll copy it and then like move it to the place we want it so just here and then we could like but yeah that takes that's going to take ages to do a big big house layout far too long for what we need so here's a little quick tip if you go into your um, create geometry and then all the way down to ACE AEC extended that's it and then turn your top view on and then at the top where it says um, the three and then the magnet one just single click that's all so it, as you can see it will lock onto the grid now uh, lock onto each grid thing then click your wall object choose your width so I'm going to say 10 high I'll say 50 the center right mm, also center so let's see now let's, all you do is click drag click and it will automatically create you large scale rooms this is perfect I really really love this tool I haven't actually yet used it in anything I'm not gonna lie but I've not really modeled any houses so all you do is to get off you press escape EC ESC on your keyboard click your magnet to get off and there you go a full model thing so yes you can do upstairs all you do is click your move tool um, design it so I'm just gonna clone this one say I've designed it then you just pull it up simple as that if you want it you like put a plane across there or something it's perfect so yeah you can make really really large scale things with it if you don't turn the grid snap on well you you like you can never get straight lines so it's like you could sit there for hours trying to get the pixels right or you could just turn the snap grid on not that one, that one it's just far easier so I could you zoom out more it'll do it more but like I could just make a small room here um, add an extension to it coming down here up here all the way across here make a big dungeon room and all you have to do is really rely on that snap toggle. See, see, we've, already, we've just made a dungeon straight away. All you have to do is cut a door out of it using the pro boolean from the previous tutorial. Simple. So that's it. Quick tutorial. I hope you liked it. See you next time.